and welcome back to Team V with Taryn. I'm Taryn. Hey! Uh, if you are new here, welcome to Team V. If you are not, welcome back. I miss you, Stink. How was your week? First and foremost, I need you to go on and click that subscribe button, okay? And then go ahead and uh, click that share button and tell your friends and tell your mama because 2021 finna be what? Our year, okay? And then also click that like button because I'm a good time. I'm a great time, you know? I got pizzazz. Look at the shoulders. Look at the shot. Come on now. Also, click the notifications button. I never say this, but please click the notifications button so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. Okay, so let's just get into it, okay? Let's, what had happened was, before I left to go visit my best friend two weeks ago, I ordered the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Powder Foundation. I had to look at it, because that's a long name. And it got delivered when I was out of town. I came home, I was like, which one y'all want me to use first? Because I got the Juvia's Place. Y'all saw that in last week's video. If you have not, go on and watch it. Y'all picked Juvia's, so I was gonna do Beauty Creation this week. However, the foundation that I got was way too light. Um, I got the shade F13 originally. So I reordered it because I had, again, a week. So I was like, it'll be fine. They ship really quick. USPS was like, actually, we gonna mess you up completely and just lose your package. You know what I mean? Just lose it. So it was set to come on Monday. It did not come until today, which is Wednesday. I film on Tuesdays, I edit on Wednesday, I upload on Thursday. Today is Wednesday and I'm just filming. It takes a while to film and a long time to edit. I edit my videos myself. I cannot do it all in a day with my focus issues and just like overall, I can't sit still that long. So. <laughs> One eternity later. Without further ado, because I'm late, I'm not gonna give you a whole, whole, whole bunch of intro. Okay, we just about to get right into the video. Let's zoom in a scope. By the way, you can't see my shirt. It says personal growth and it's like the phases of like a person transforming into like a fly creature. That's why I got a purple headband and a blue shirt because this shirt got purple in it. I thought you would be able to see it. You cannot. Okay. So let's get into it. Like I said, today we'll be using the Beauty Creations Flawless Foundation. What is it? Okay. Today we'll be using the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Powder Foundation. Whew. All right, and I also picked up the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Poreless Primer. That bad boy right there. It says it smoothens and refines pores and it's a semi-matte finish. And I got a little eyeshadow palette because I thought this was so cute. It's called the Boho Babe Palette. These colors I love, but what is, what is this? What? What is that? It kind of looks like that on the website. It kind of doesn't. I don't really know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. So as you can see, I already put my eyebrows on because we about to just do it, okay? I'm gonna start with my face first because I wanna give this a bit of a wear test. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm thinking about doing smaller series like on Instagram or TikTok where I just wear test certain things. We still observe the pandemic in my house. <laughs> I have nowhere to go. Plus I have this ill pimple that is trying to like kicking the door, waving the full four, and I can feel it coming, and I don't wanna just sit with foundation on it all day if I have nothing to do. So we're gonna give my skin a break. Um, so I'll just be wear testing this through the life of the video. Filming usually takes me an hour and a half to two hours, so if I start with the foundation first, you'll at least get like a two hour wear, and because I talk my whole video, you'll really get to see how it acts with my very deep smile lines. <laughs> but I'm a happy hoe, I don't know. I smile all the time. I want best smile in April. I'm just happy. For foundation today, of course, we're using the thing that we are testing. Let's get into it because I actually do love this packaging. So it's so freaking cute. It's like a little compact, she thrick, but the components are beautiful. I love a little rose gold moment. Um, and then when you open it, you have this amazing, I'm about to just, y'all can see everything now, but this amazing mirror and this little puff, and then beneath the puff is the foundation behind a plastic shield, which cleanliness, hello. And if it's break up in your purse, you won't have no trouble. I did swatch it, you can see my finger in there, but all in all, I love the foundation as like the components. I love the packaging. So this is what F15 looks like, which is my shade. Like I start, y'all saw the finger, the finger in it, I swatched it. F13 is not that far off, but it was very light. So this is F13. Online, it looked like it would be my complexion. I also have a terrible time picking foundations when I order them. So I'll swatch it for you. I'm gonna do a little swatchy so you can actually see, cause I'm not sending it back, I just own it now. So this this is the F13 on my hand. I, so I, I tried just 
Ugh. I tried to swatch the F-15, but you can't really see it. But this is the F-13, way too light for me. All right, so let's get it cracking. First, we're gonna put on our primer, because we're doing the face today first. So the Flawless Stay Poreless Primer, like I said in the beginning, says it smoothens and refines pores. It's semi-matte. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be like a silicone one. Yep, it's like a silicone primer. Okay. It smells very strong. It smells like, y'all know how I feel about smells. It smells like fruit. <laughs> I was not expecting it to smell like fruit punch, honey. I feel mad silky though. It's very silky. And I've had like some affordable primers, especially like silicone ones. They'll like pill up on the skin, like they'll roll up. This one did not do that. I don't see much of a difference with the primer on. Like, it feels great. It feels like very lightweight, very like smooth and velvety. It's just that smell was, they caught me off guard, child. It was like, what, hello, hello? <laughs> it was so strong. So let's go in with the foundation. Like I said, I am in the shade 15. 15.0, I don't know what the points are, but it's 15.0. And I'm just gonna put that on with a flat top brush. This is a Equate Kabuki brush. Um, I do not like using sponges with powder foundations. Oh, I hate when they put designs and stuff, like this little wart, cause you see I even swatched above it. I don't even wanna go into it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little heart. That's so my color, you can't even see it on camera. That's my color though. I'm so glad this one was my color because I was not doing this a third time. <laughs> oh, you can see it. So the Flawless Stay Powder Foundation has buildable coverage, is a velvety matte finish, multi-use, long wear, oil free. I don't, know. I don't know, she kinda smooth. She looking kinda smooth. Let's see, let's put it on like a shiny point. Oh, that took that shine away. It definitely, covered well i mean that was one white but it covered that acne scar i had my hyperpigmentation is still oh these earrings gotta go girl i took them off like i was about to fight didn't i now hyperpigmentation is still there but i mean i don't really always expect it to go unless i'm using like a cake face foundation type vibe so this half of my face has foundation on it this half does not see much of a difference. Do you see much of it? I don't see much of a difference. Is it oxid? Like, am I crazy or is this oxidizing super dark? Oh no. Oh no, this is not it. I am like three shades darker than I normally am, but it's not the foundation color because swatch, it is my skin tone. Like this foundation is my skin tone. Like when you look at it, look at it in the pan. So this is the color. It, that is not the color that's on my face right now. And I use it with a clean brush. I just washed all my brushes. They're dry, nothing is different. And I look three shades darker. And my pores are so prominent right now. Like even more prominent than like they are without sound. Ooh, ooh, I don't like this. I'm gonna keep going for y'all because that's what the video is about, testing out the foundation. But so far, I am I'm not liking it. So for concealer today, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. So funny story, when I was visiting my best friend, right? She lives in a part, and I feel like I said this in my last video. I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, but she lives in a part of the country where there are not a lot of black people. So their makeup sections in their drugstores and their Walmarts and stuff, they have an overabundance of dark, deep complexion products. So when I got there, it was like I had my pick of the litter. All of the deeper complexion foundations and concealers were on sale for like two, three dollars. Got a lot of foundations. Like I got like four or five different foundations because they were just affordable. And most of them were my shade. If they were not my shade, they were my best friend's shade. So I was like, girl, you can head you Can't wait to get this concealer on. Cause I feel like I look crazy. 
after a couple of layers of concealer, I feel like I'm atoning for the sins of this foundation. <laughs> I feel like I'm being shady. I'm not being shady, I'm just very honest. And I don't wanna be like selling y'all a dream and you buy the foundation and you don't like it. But I will say, I am one person. A lot of people tried this foundation. I would look at their videos first. <laughs> before you make an opinion just based off my video. I mean, if you trust my opinion that much, thank you, Pooh. Um, but for me, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the end of the video to give like a full and complete, like, this is how I feel about it. For powder today, I'm using the Milani um, Translucent Banana Powder. That was just the top, because I already opened it. I'm just using a, <laughs> y'all know these brushes from Amazon. I don't know why y'all be looking at me like that, but I'm just using a flat top angle brush to put my pack to pack my powder in. Oh, which I know, they from Amazon. I feel like I have on foundation because I do not like the way it looks, but I don't feel like I have on foundation as far as coverage, if that makes any sense. Like, I I could have just put concealer and powder over my regular face, but it, like, just bare bones in it. So I'm going in with my Juvia's Place bronzer because y'all know I loved it so much last week, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this bottom color this time because why not? I need, I need to feel like snatch for the gods with this foundation. Um, I'm just using a, uh, I'm just using a wet and wild powder brush. It probably still got a little bronzer in it from last week. I'm not gonna hold you. This brush, I did not wash, but the one I put on the foundation with, I did wash, so. I can't even like blame the issues with the foundation on like the brush. Again, what do I say in all my videos though? It could be user error. I'm gonna hold off on blush because I don't know what vibe we're going on, going for with the eyes. I'm trying to be like upbeat and peppy about it, but I'm not gonna hold you. I am not loving my face right now. <laughs> I'm not loving it at all. On camera, it looks fine. In person, it looks fine, but I feel crumbly. You know, like I don't feel like it's giving what it is supposed to give. I just know I feel better after I get some eyes. I just know it. I'm busting out the big guns with my eyes to make sure I can get the most out of this eyeshadow palette as possible. So I'm using my P. Louise base in the color Rumor 1. I have not used this in a while. Y'all already know. I use my finger. I look great. <laughs> Let's look at this palette. This palette has some amazing colors. This is still kind of wonky to me, but these colors are so... I love these colors. Ooh, I don't know what I wanna do. I don't really have like, I didn't enter this with like a vision. I should have, but I said I'm, I said I'm. This red is calling my name, but also this neon, let's just swatch a couple, shall we? This red, so pretty. It looks burgundy on camera, but in person it looks red. Like, can you see, ooh, ooh, ooh she red. And then this neon green, I put it in the red, but oh my God, oh! <laughs> Baby girl, you ain't gonna show up like that? Who's paying you? I'm gonna do this purple because maybe that's a, this purple is weird. The purple, remember the, the center purple? That one I was like, what the hey? It's like light pink. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know about that shade. All right. Hear me out. I'm gonna start with putting this neon green color on the inner part of my lid. And I'm just using a wet and wild eyeshadow brush. Ugh, this neon green, it, be it better pop. I would be so upset. Oh, nope, it's popping. Oh, but the fallout is banana sandwich. This is when I don't like fallout. Fallout in the pan, I'm fine with. Fallout on my face? Fallout on my face? It's like, no, but I don't. I don't love when I have fallout on my face. But that's fine, because this color is everything, babe. Everything. I'm gonna use something a little rounder because I have fallout, and I also messed around too much. And for some reason, my P. Louise eyeshadow base is creasing. I don't think I use a thick enough layer, but I'm not going back. So I'm just gonna put it on this Sonia Kushuk eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna use a brush cleaner and use that same brush. It's still gonna look a little stained because it is a white brush, but 
it won't be any pigment coming off of it if that makes any sense um so now i'm going in with this beautiful army green color she just talked to me huh huh she was talking to me and i'm gonna put that on the outer portion of my lid and blend the two together y'all i might be going to something you can see i'm using the mirror from the palette i actually like this little palette a lot and this was not the point of the video. This eyeshadow palette was not the point of the video. The point of the video was the foundation. And yet, the eyeshadow, still in the show. She's still in the show. Why is that so pretty? And so, if I didn't say it before, these shadows are very pigmented. We're stuck where we are. No house, no car. Come through, pigments. Come through come all the way through because how dare you how dare you come through like this the audacity the audacity of this palette to do me like this girl she's giving for my under eye i'm gonna take this really 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 cute like deep turquoisey green on a elf eyeshadow brush the little flat wide ones this is my favorite under eye brush When you're doing your under eye, like, especially with a palette that has, like, fallout like this, take it slow, baby girl, because you don't want to create more work for yourself. I don't, am I, do I adequately show y'all my under eye? Because I be doing this to put it on, but I need to, like, remember that I'm filming this. Show some sense. Okay, so for eyeliner today, I'm using the Beauty Creations um, Gel Pot in the color Electric Lime. And I'm gonna line that with a ColourPop E6 Angle Brush, which looks like this. If you do not get cicadas where you live, count your lucky stars because baby, they are ugly, they are gross, and they are very loud. Like, all I hear right now is cicadas because my house is dead quiet. All I hear is cicadas outside. They're so loud. I am embarrassed to say how long it took me to put on these wings. They did not want to go on this one especially, so it looks a little wonky. I'm just doing my whole video from this side. Ah, oh, hi! <laughs> I do feel like I need an inner corner highlight, though, don't you? Don't you feel like that, baby? She really feel the same way. Okay, okay, good. I like this little shimmery dude. So that is gonna be our inner corner highlight and I'm putting that on with the scone smudger brush. I would be lying if I said this was not just from an Ipsy from a long time ago. Did she say glitter shades serving very much aluminum foil? Okay, Beauty Creations, we need to have a conversation about what you put in these eyeshadows. Is this aluminum foil? Like, I feel like a little glowing princess of love with this color. I really wanna use this e.l.f. putty blush in the color Bali, which is this beautiful, deep, like a terracotta-y color. But I'm so scared it's gonna mess up this foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna try it anyway. Ugh. I'm gonna put it on a brush and hope for the best. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush, and we're gonna put our blush on with that, and hopefully it won't disrupt our foundation too much. Okay. This would probably be better applied with the sponge because it is a putty blush, and I know they actually make like putty brushes at e.l.f., however, I didn't get mm -hmm. And I'm so scared to use a sponge with this foundation being wonky. That's pretty, but I feel like Christmas. I feel like I need a little lift on the face though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my crayon, K crayon case blush binder and I'm gonna use this mauve color right here. It's more subtle in person. It is very vibrant on camera. And I'm gonna put that on with the crayon case Judy brush. Okay, there we go. I just want to feel alive. These eyes is way too bright for me to try to play around. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know I almost used that Juvia's Place blush palette. You already know I almost did. All right, so for eyelashes today, I'm gonna use the Ioni Wispy Doll Crisscross Lashes, the Cherry Jubilee ones. If you watched my Dollar Tree haul last week, you know I got a bunch of the new Ioni lashes. And these are the ones I'm using today. For highlight today, I'm using this um, hard candy palette that was in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. And of course, y'all know we going in with this pretty little goldy color. And I'm putting that on with a Cirque Pro highlighter brush. I just got it from Five Below the other day. But I thought it was so cute. Look at that. Look at that hard candy highlighter for one dollar. She ain't had to do us like that. I feel like this look has been like, ended up very much trust the process. I don't know why. <laughs> um, for lips today, and then we wrapping it up, we gonna step, we gonna be done. Actually, let me step before I do my lips. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so hear me out. I know I used a, a matte concealer. I know I used a velvety matte foundation, but my face is feeling very much dry. <laughs> like, so I'm gonna use um, the Black Radiance Hydrating Setting Spray. Not a ton of it, but I just, this is what I'm setting with today. For this, I'm gonna use this Hard Candy All Matte Up Nourishing Lip Crayon with coconut and hemp oil. And this is the color Blushed. That's such a pretty color. I feel like it might be a little light. So we might end up switching it up, but we finna see. It is a little bright, but I actually think it's cute. I don't know, I like this color. I like this, I'm keeping it. All right, we've done it. I'm gonna zoom you out so that we can discuss. I know I've like sat back and everything like, but I'm gonna actually zoom you out and then we'll discuss this whole shebang, shall we? Okay, let's discuss. I, overall, I think, I keep looking at my monitor. Overall, I think my look turned out fine. I don't hate the way I look. I love my eyes. My base is not my favorite. I do not like the way my foundation looks. I don't feel pretty. I don't feel like it is giving me anything but dry and all my texture popping out at once. My dog decides right now is a great time to scratch. So the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Powder Foundation is going to be a no for me. It is just not my vibe. I'm, no thank you. The Flawless Stay Poreless Primer. I don't know if it did anything. And I don't like the way it smells. It smells so strong, like either fruit punch or like watermelon. It is just a very strong artificial fruit smell. And I, y'all know how I feel about smells. I don't love it. But it did go on really smooth. It, it felt very light on the skin. I didn't feel like I put a whole bunch of stuff on my skin, but it, I don't know if it really did anything. I, but for the price point, I don't know, g give it a go. But this eyeshadow palette, baby, this was not even the point of the video. But this eyeshadow palette gave me so much, like the, the eyes speak for themselves, honey. The pigment is there, like it is gorgeous. The colors blend out beautifully. The shades are formulated great. They blended beautifully on the eye, like 10 out of 10, I am a fan, okay? As always, none of this information is sponsored. Beauty Creations did not send me anything or ask me to review anything. I just saw everybody using it and I was like, I'm gonna try. So I gave it a try and it just, you know, the foundation did not work for me, but the eyeshadow palette, baby girl. That's my babe right there. So please, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe, like, and share by telling your friends and telling your mama. Um, otherwise, I Friggin' love you, and I love these eyelashes. I wish they looked less sparse on camera, cause in person they look very like wispy and full, but they, on camera they look like I got three eyelashes on and I don't know what's happening. I friggin' love you, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye! You like my little headband? My boyfriend bought me this headband from Nordstrom's and it's velvet with pearls on it. It's velvet with pearls. Velvet with pearls. Oh, I don't know. I feel cute, but I'm just, my face does not count. I don't feel pretty. All right. I'm gonna go wash all this off now. <laughs> Love you, bye.